Hi guys, it's Lita Lums Apothecary Health and Beauty Hacks, and today we're going to do a little review, a little unboxing of Eco Brow and Penelope. I, as you might know, I have very little brows, and they've been plucked in the 90s, they will not grow back. And so I have teeny tiny brows, and I'm a little scared of brow gel, but let's, well, we're going to try this Penelope, Eco Brow and Penelope, and see how it goes. We're going to do, uh, try and make these a little more exciting, shall we? All right. Look how cute it is. A little brow gel as usual. Eco Brow Penelope Brunette. Got, I don't know why they have this extra little part in here in the little boxes, but it's a little cute thing like this. Defining wax. I know that it's not vegan because it has uh, lanolin oil and um, it doesn't have beeswax, but it's got lanolin oil. And it does have dimethicone, uh, which is a silicone, so it's not completely non-synthetic, but that's okay. We're gonna try it anyways, if everyone's into it. Look, my fresh pot. Mm. So normally with my brows, you know how they are just not going back. This was all plucked out in the 90s and just is not growing back. Maybe one day when I have the perfect brow serum, but it's not, it's not happening. So I usually just go over it a little bit with some powder. And so, uh, but we're now we're gonna try it with some Eco Gel. It'll be fine, it will be okay. Got my little spoolie. First you spool them up, I know that. So I always just brush them up to make, to try and like make them stand up and at attention. For some reason my right ones are like longer and better. Got my little angle brush. Mm -hmm. We're gonna dab just a little bit. The secret is to do just a tiny, teeny, tiny bit. Then, so, so you don't want to put a bunch like in the beginning here because then it looks, which I, I tend to do accidentally with my powdering when I put some powder in there and it doesn't look good to me. And I, the secret is you want to go under here with your, with your line and that is actually a good secret to know because mine are so plucked right there. So you go underneath and then you kind of brush up. You don't want to do too much right here. You brush the pigment that you just drew kind of up. Mm -hmm. Cause that's where your brows would be more filled in normally anyways, except mine. Then you can kind of brush the pigment up. So that was the secret, yo, to kind of just do that one line. And then I can kind of, I still have a tiny bit of pigment in, I'm just gonna go down along here a little bit. A little bit. With a little bit of concealer, like I'm gonna go underneath a little bit. If I had a little brush, it'd probably be better, but I'm gonna use my fingers because that's how I do it. Just a little bit. And you could also do on top, um, which I have enough of my powder there, it doesn't it didn't really have an issue. What do you think? Is it okay? I still feel like it needs just a little bit more. One row. Second one. A little more under here. Did I fix it? Is it too puffy and is it too much right there? Let's do the other one. Teeny tiny teeny look. So I barely I barely even touched it. Teeny make my line. And then I'm gonna brush up and try and concentrate in the middle, kind of above the iris with the pigment so it's not too much in the front here. And I'm gonna brush up, brush up, brush up, and then I can go a little pigment over here. There's no brows over here. Just tiny, teeny little guys. And then Mm. 
Not terrible. I just like this eyebrow better than this one. It's like the stepchild eyebrow. What do you think? It's a little less arched, a little more pigmented. I like this one better. It's like more natural looking. Just put a little more definition here so that it looks more like that one. Just a bit. I really like that trick, just doing the line along the bottom. And then just a little bit of my concealer in Hush and Dotty Vegan and Natural Concealer in Marlene. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. I think I'm going to try and start doing the gel. And then I'll get better at it. And then maybe, maybe one day this will grow back in, but I'm not waiting any longer. It's time for some... Brow gel, darlings. Eco brow. Hmm? No? There you go, guys. So that's me fixing my brows with eco gel in Penelope. And if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you click the bell button next to the subscription button, you will be notified when we upload videos on Thursdays and when we do live videos on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Zen Deck. We just have a good time discussing whatever is. And I'll try and have better brows as well during those times, okay? <laughs> and, uh...